Doctors, I just got this popping up. It's 1134. Our appointment was for 1130. It says start the process. So. Florette. <laughs> what do you think, Grandma? Is it ugly? <laughs> or is it pretty? I don't know if it's ugly. It's just <laughs> different. It's different, yeah. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another Out of Spec Reviews video. You join me in the Jacksonville, Florida area, driving actually a Chevrolet Silverado electric. This is uh, a competitor to the vehicle that we're actually about to go purchase. And uh, we are on our way to the Tesla Delivery Center. We are picking up our new out of spec cyber truck. This is a total surprise. I have not told anyone about this. You're going to join us for our delivery experience. I'm going to walk you through the spec. We have our first drive in our new cyber truck today. So much to get into. I'm thrilled that we're able to do this. And um, these videos are never possible without our viewers. So a big thanks to you guys for watching and making it possible for us to uh, get a cyber truck so we can make even more videos for you guys with this vehicle. So off we go to the Tesla Jacksonville Delivery Center. So much to get into in this video. I am very excited for this one. Pumped. Pumped. This video is brought to you by ChemPower, the reliable, quick, and scalable EV charging solution for everyone and everywhere. And this video is also brought to you by Star Charge, the largest EV charging manufacturer in the world. They are also a provider of residential and commercial battery storage with microgrid solutions. Well, you join me, Alyssa, and Brandon on the way to the Tesla Service Center, which is just over here to take delivery of our Cybertruck. Now, I've not told anyone that we were getting this truck. This is really just the the inner out of spec family just learned about it actually. I've really kept it a secret, but uh, we are taking delivery of a very early tri-motor cyber beast. I'm very excited for this foundation series. And I'll kind of walk you through that, that sales process in a little bit, tell you everything about how we got the truck um, so early, of course. I know a lot of you guys will be wondering about that. So happy to share everything that we did there. We used, um, uh, referral points to get the accelerated delivery. They had like a four or five hour window, maybe even a little bit, you know, somewhere around there. I'm not sure. And if you had 30,000 referral points, you could guarantee delivery within 45 days. And so that's what I did. And I'll walk everyone through that exact process here in a bit, but we're just rolling up to Tesla in Jacksonville. I've been tracking our truck on the way over, trying to, you know, call different people that I know at Tesla. They're sending me GPS coordinates. They're checking on the truck. It's been sitting at about 45 to 50% state of charge since it was produced only a week and a half ago. Um, yeah, I, I, factory gate date. I have to check on all the numbers, but it's a very recent build. It literally was built, put on a train. It was at the Jacksonville rail yard. We saw it, we went over there. I'll insert that clip in a moment. And so we, we tracked it all the way to the rail yard and now it should be, I hope, inside that building right there where they have the world supply of Tesla Model Ys lining this building. Just a million of them. Here we are rolling up to apparently the rail yard where the Cybertruck is. I think let's just take a look ahead here. It should be somewhere around here is my understanding. And, um, so here are the train tracks. See, there's the rail cars. And here's where they come in and probably get unloaded. Yep, that's got to be exactly it. And here's where a bunch of cars are stationed. These are a bunch of Fords. So there's no trespassing. Don't see anything other than Fords in here. So this must be a Ford rail yacht. Oh no, Cybertruck's over there on the right. That could be it right there. Zoom in, Alyssa. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Oh, cool. Those triangles. Yeah. There's only one that I can see. Oh, uh, can you see more? Yeah, mm. I see maybe three. Yeah, there's definitely more. Anyway, we are out, out in the west side of Jacksonville at the moment. There's definitely here. So our Cybertruck is here somewhere. Uh, crazy to think that it's going to take a couple days for it to get 
20 minutes down the road to the delivery center, but logistics, I guess. But there's 500 cars there. We have manufacturer plates on this Ford. Do you think we could just pull the whole, like, hey, we're here with Ford? No. Inspecting the lot? No. We're not breaking no rules find our truck. for you to go and look at your truck. That's ridiculous. <laughs> You're going to see it in two days, and it looks just like all the other ones. Yeah. Well, that's cool. At least we saw it in here. Here comes a car carrier. Maybe they're picking up our Cybertruck. How sick would that be? We'll just back up for this dude. We can follow him in through the gate, no? no. <laughs> All right, well, that was cool. We're here and- uh, It's here. And it's here. It is full of Teslas here at the service center. Wow, this. Brandon, you excited? Oh yeah, this is insane. Yeah, this we are so lucky that we're able to get this truck and uh, make, you know, content we can't sell it for a year or tesla will sue us which is crazy so we're keeping it for at least a year <laughs> and uh you know if i decide that i really love it maybe i'll buy it from the company uh because they may i mean i don't know it's a very controversial vehicle so yeah let's just back in the silverado right over here and go find our cyber truck well, you join me in front of tesla jacksonville where we've just driven up about two hours from the space coast near Titusville in Florida. And we took the Silverado EV, by the way, I just have to give this truck a plug. We rented this truck. It's, we'll have another one from Chevrolet coming with the biggest battery. This thing, 180 kilowatt hours usable. That's the small battery because they have a 213 kilowatt hour big battery. We only used like half the charge getting here over two hours plus of driving at like high speed. So that's impressive and it charges really fast everything i wish the cyber truck did but it didn't and i can trash the cyber truck because i just paid for one um anyway we're here at tesla jacksonville let's talk about how this all happened uh, I was at the original unveil of the Cybertruck years ago, and I was with my friend Brian from I1 Tesla. We had a great time. It was really interesting. But when the truck rolled out on stage, we both were like, ooh, that's not a good looking vehicle. What are they thinking? This is stupid. And then we let it, you know, sit and just like everyone else, we kind of got used to it. And I still don't think it's a very attractive vehicle visually, but I'm so impressed with a lot of the technical stuff in the vehicle, the steer by wire, the software integration, the 48 volt low voltage system. I'm a nerd, so I find all that cool and interesting. And then I went to the unveil of the series production one, which would be the delivery event in Austin, Texas. Colton and I went there and made a video. And then after that, uh, we actually had a test truck where we did range tests, charging tests. We took you on full tours. We did deep driving reviews and you all were, I mean, reading the comments on those videos were extremely positive because of course we're not Tesla fanboys. I mean, I enjoy Tesla. I own a couple Teslas, of course, but I feel like we're pretty fair. We're not here to make the vehicles look good. We're just to evaluate them as they are in the context of other vehicles on the market, which is also why I brought a Silverado EV and we have a Rivian and we have a Lightning. So you can imagine the videos that are coming over the next month. So, uh, a few weeks ago, Tesla launched a accelerated delivery program on uh, their referral program. And it was essentially, if you had an existing Cybertruck reservation, you could have placed it any time. They would guarantee delivery of a Cybertruck. This is an official program. It's not like we called someone or we're YouTubers and we got it early. This was, you know, I, I see a lot of celebrities getting their truck early. I don't know how they're getting theirs, but this was an official program by Tesla that said, okay, if you have 30,000 referral points, you can burn those and we will get you your truck immediately, as fast as possible. And that's exactly what I did. My dad had the referral points in his account and he had the truck or his reservation in his account. I logged in, I called him and he said, by the way, I just bought a Cybertruck under your name. I'm gonna have to pay you back for it. Thanks very much. And Tesla has been amazing through this whole process. They, um, you know, as soon as the truck was uh, built, about a day after we placed our uh, referral uh, accelerated thing. It got moved to the front of the logistics line. It got put right on a train. Right after it got put on a train, it came here to the logistics lot in Jacksonville. It got hung up there for a week, week and a half, but now it's finally been trucked down here to the delivery center. Now we have to take delivery in Florida actually, because you'll notice we'll have Florida license plates and my parents live in Florida. I've registered it to them because I used my dad's account, but again, it's for out of spec. So it's registered to out of spec. The company can't sell the truck for one year. 
we have to, uh, because Tesla will sue us for whatever we make over some other things, I don't know. To me, that seems pretty crazy. We're planning on keeping it a year anyway, and then we'll see what we do. I imagine the values are gonna tank. Uh, we're preparing for that. I'm, uh, this is not gonna stay. Cybertrucks at the time of this recording are selling for what, Brandon? 230, 250? Yeah, crazy. We're not doing that. We're not flipping this. We're buying this to make content, to enjoy the truck, to compare it to other vehicles, and really demystify what the Cybertruck is about. And I'm putting my money where my mouth is, which is, this is a cool truck. Let's buy it. Let's live with it. Let's test it. Let's tow with it. Let's road trip it. Let's do everything. Off-road it, of course. And uh, that's what we're here to do. So enough of the explanation. Uh, I'm sure someone's gonna be pissed that we burned referral points to skip the line, but that's, uh, we had them, we burned it. And those programs are available to anyone who has referrals. So, uh, and that's all thanks to you guys for buying Teslas with my dad's code, the Out of Spec Dave YouTube channel. We have to give my dad a huge shout out for not freaking out when I called him and told him I bought a Cybertruck on his account. Yeah, I paid him back, but like, okay, let's go inside. Let's go find our truck. Let's go meet the people. Alyssa, what are your thoughts on all this process before we go inside? Uh, well, I'm super excited. They they have kind of ping-ponged a little bit back and forth on our delivery date, but I think that's because we kind of, we didn't. We actually, we came over here and uh, we just talked to everybody and they really thought that it was here, but it wasn't here. Was they were that convinced the, it was they here. They were convinced. They're, they're like, like, your truck's here. I'm like, show me. They're yeah. like, we can't show you. But yeah. I'm like, how is it here then? They're like, just go check the VIN's in the back. There was still, there was like two or, or three or four in the back actually. And yeah. we were like, just go check the VIN. And um, they never did. And then we found out that it wasn't here. But anyways, that wasn't the same as it was before. So I wonder if there's going to be a little show show, which would be fun. You mean that, the that, cover? Yeah, that door as I'm circling around it. Okay. Uh, yeah, so there's no cover and you're able to see in it. So I don't know. I'm excited to see what they do. They might just actually just say, hey, here's your truck. Um, <laughs> yeah. I told them, don't even wash it. Just like get it to us as soon as possible. Yeah, but it's mandatory. You yeah, have they, to wash they, it. they make, they have to wash it. Have to wash it and have to sand it. Um, I don't know. We'll have to ask them if they sanded ours. Yeah. But I know that that's been a thing. Yeah, so I'm, I'm excited to see what it does, how my actual reactions and driving in it, and it will be. Um, I stay very neutral with all things Tesla. Well, I wouldn't so. say that. You've been a Cybertruck hater. I yeah, I don't I don't like the truck. I don't think it's a practical truck. It's not like this truck. It's not like the Rivian. It's it's a novelty car in my opinion and um, the hype is going to be the hype and then it's just going to go down and just be a cool car that people see on the road. The big true test of this vehicle will be if you come around to it after the year that we're going to have it at the office. If I have to slam the doors like we do in the Model X in order for it to close, then no, it's not happening. Um, do they have power doors? No. Pretty solid. Yeah, I would say it's e the doors aren't a problem. Yeah, it's like a normal Tesla. Well, then then I might be open to it. <laughs> I like how that's the biggest <laughs> that thing. Is, that is. That annoys the crap out of me with the X. I, will, I won't drive it because of it. It just... Right. We have a Model X. It's my dad's car, actually. Yeah. It, it's going back to him soon. Uh, but it doesn't have the ultrasonic sensor, so the doors only pop open a little bit. You really have to muscle them to get through it. It's a little bit annoying. Yeah, but princess, you know, anyway. issues. But yeah, yeah I, I'm still excited to get the new car it, and see what it does and how it's going to fare within our lifestyle and I think how the dogs like it and all I that stuff. I think we're VIN number 146. 146. And it was yep. it was built just a couple days or weeks ago. I mean, it yeah, was built it's a baby. Yeah, so my understanding is the tri-motor cyber beasts started at 0 and worked their way up and the dual motor started at 500 or 550 and worked their way up. So this is one of the first cyber beasts that um, yeah, we're lucky enough to get. Uh, by the way, before we go inside Tesla makes you get the foundation series, which is $20,000 over sticker. And for their markup, I'm calling it a markup, they give you a light bar and they give you FSD, but which, it doesn't even have you don't auto. don't even get any of those. Well, we don't get the light bar today. We don't, don't get, get FSD today. We, we don't even get basic <laughs> autopilot today. <laughs> I mean, the Silverado won't let you drive out of the lane. It pushes you in. But then this thing, there's no steering. So we're, we're, we are taking delivery, accepting the fact that it doesn't have all of the features sorted doesn't have a locking front diff at the moment um everything it'll be paid, software updated everything that's the extra two twenty thousand dollars whatever it is you don't get with the truck when you get delivered <laughs> basically so. i'm not sure what the benefit <laughs> of foundation series is the badges. we get, get the badges, badges. i'm so, gonna wrap it anyway yeah, so badging, etching i think you get <laughs> let us know if we should wrap it or keep it metal colton wants me to keep it metal for at least six months so I he can want you to keep it metal too yeah he wants yeah. me to beat the crap out of it and then you know 
I want to shoot it. I don't know. We'll have fun with it. But then, then we'll wrap it when we're done. So um, we get found. So we have to spend twenty thousand over for foundation plus thirty thousand points to get delivery early. That seems worth it to me. The accelerated delivery thing. The twenty thousand over for foundation makes no sense. But we need it for videos. So there's a business case for us. Not everyone can pull the YouTube card and you know need to get a truck early to basically make it worth our while. But I think with the depreciation on this truck, we might end up losing money on it still. But either way, it'll make for good content and I think people will enjoy it. So let's go inside, enough talking. I'm really excited. I, I know I've just kind of been a little bit negative, but I wanted to get that out of the way because- So you can do all the exciting things and be super happy, joyous, happy yes. Kyle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> because I do love the Cybertruck. I love how crazy it is. I love how outlandish it is. I love the sound system. I love the driving dynamics. I love the steer by wire personally. I don't like it in all situations, but for daily driving, it's nice. There's so much to love about Cybertruck. And so, uh, you know, basically we're taking the L on spending the money for the foundation series and the other stuff. So you guys don't have to, but uh, I'll, by the way, if there are any viewers that we meet along the way or that are near us in Fort Collins and you're waiting on your Cybertruck, um, we'll have some way for you can, to come by and check it out and go for a ride. And like we did when we got our Rivian early, we let everyone come and check it out and play around with it. We wanna do the same thing with this, but we're honestly gonna be filming nonstop with this for probably the next month, month and a half, truck comparisons, road trips, cross country stuff. So after the dust settles on our filming, then come by the office in Fort Collins and play around with it. Anyway, let's go inside. Well guys, we're in the Tesla showroom about to go through the delivery process. They actually have a cyber truck in here looking pretty nice. They've got it staged with the suspension, not all the way up, but pretty high up looking good. They also have the wheel covers on this one, which I believe our truck will come without the wheel covers. But again, I have to say a big shout out to my friend Ben, whose truck we originally tested. Again, his stuff's linked in the description. Uh, because Ben's just awesome. He allowed us to get all those early videos on his dual motor cyber truck. He sent me his wheel covers so that we can use them for all of our testing. They, you're really, they damage the tires is my understanding. They leave some imprints so you don't really want them on. But I didn't want all the Tesla people being like, well, you're making the cyber truck look bad by not having the wheel covers and it would get 700 miles if you put the wheel covers on. So anyway, I paid to have them overnighted. We have the wheel covers. They're sitting in the lightning back at where we're gonna end today and um, Cybertruck will have wheel covers for all of our testing coming up. In the app, we've already paid for the truck. Everything has come through. We are just waiting for the start, the delivery process. Everything has gone through. So I've paid for a vehicle that I haven't even had the chance to look at, go over, make sure that the body panels aren't good, make sure there's nothing Aren't crazy. good, you already said aren't good. Aren't good. <laughs> You're already <laughs> prepared. <laughs> you know, from our point, right, we're buying this to make reviews on this vehicle. So I'm ex whatever we have as our experience is what we're gonna share. If I was a general customer buying it as my personal car, um, then I might be a bit more particular than I am for this. So we're gonna run through the truck, we'll take a microscope. I wanna log everything that might be a problem just to make sure it's noted. When we get it back to Colorado, we'll ask them to fix it there, but I'm certainly not gonna hang around here for them to fix it in Florida. We gotta hit the road and go on a road trip in this thing. So um, yeah, we'll wait till we can go back. My understanding is the truck is just behind the door over here. We're gonna see it for the first time. Uh, I don't think I've ever, yeah, I've never ridden or driven a Cyber Beast, a tri-motor one. Induction, dual motors in the rear, permanent magnet front, locker on the front, uh, virtual locker on the rear. Um, that will all come with software very soon. Tesla's just released some videos of them going to Moab, testing their new software updates, I guess, that will be coming soon. And that can't come soon enough because we have some off-road testing to do with this thing against- Yeah, Oregon. like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> like two weeks, so hopefully they get it to our truck as soon as possible. Uh, anyway, yeah, let's wait for it. I, I'm really kind of, shaking with excitement even though like i've kind of i've never loved the cyber truck but now that it's like going to be ours and we you better it, love it yeah <laughs> i'm like actually kind of getting into it and i love the controversy around it as well and we'll be able to have you know our friends in the media test it out and drive it as well so have other outlets play around with it yeah this will be fun i'm excited let's go see it well guys i just got this popping up it's 11:34. our appointment was for 11:30. it says start the process so let's go through everything and uh when you arrive, appointment tap, I'm here, and an advisor will assist you in logging in your new vehicle. I'm here. There's our cyber beast. Once you locate your vehicle, check the VIN and ensure it matches, because they all look the same. 
<laughs> retweeted by Hertz. Hell yeah, shout out to Hertz. And uh, yeah, let's go locate it and then we can hit locate vehicle. So we're just walking around the backside of the building. They said that we are the 10th Cybertruck delivery, roughly, out of here and the first tri-motor beast. Woohoo! Woohoo! And they're super nice. Everyone here at this Jacksonville Service Center, they're viewers, they're awesome. Yeah. They're like the coolest people. Uh, they said that they're just finishing up a little quick wash on it. It arrived here literally super late last night, so they're expediting the cleaning process and then they're going to get it to us here in a few minutes but i figured we'd go see if we find anything interesting on the lot another cyber truck here and yeah brandon good day for a delivery isn't it oh yeah way better than colorado right now yeah way better than colorado it's probably snowing today or tomorrow oh no <laughs> yeah this is nice weather to test some vehicles in oh look at that wrap yeah that's pretty sick and here it is coming out of detail <laughs> they're going to bring it around to the delivery center we're getting a little sneak peek ahead of the delivery <laughs> how sick is this nice well guys we confirmed that is our truck they just washed it they're juicing it up for us and i have it now in the app so i'm actually going to set up phone key right here which i think we can do from this distance and we're authorizing there we go we're set up bluetooth pairing request we'll go for it and uh, there's the thing i've got it set to 80 percent now this is still before the official delivery i think tesla would have preferred if we didn't show the truck back here but we're going to go inside and take the official delivery process so let's run around to the front of the building then we can collect it and we'll be good to go well guys the tesla folks here who work here are amazing they were super cool they charged us up to 80 percent. i have it in the app now and i'm looking at the truck right in here so we're going to have a chance to look at it in the garage uh really for a quick glance and then i'm going to pull it out here in the sun and stage it somewhere here because i really want to give it a good look over but wow just looking at it from a distance <laughs> this is so cool come on Alyssa. Let's go take a look. This is it, our new cyber truck. And there's some things in here we can't show you. They don't want us to show you the other cyber trucks. So we're keeping the camera a little bit. It's really cool then to put it in here uh, and everything. But um, you can see here, it says out of spec cyber truck. Welcome to the Tesla family. Super cool of them to do all this. Uh, just cause it's a little bit crazy in here. I'm gonna get a couple photos of it in here in the garage and just kind of do a quick glance over, but I am gonna pull this outside so we can go around it and uh, we won't risk showing them any of the other trucks. Of course, we're on Tesla's property. They say we can't film something. We're not gonna do it and push our luck there, but uh, hey, we got the truck and uh, super cool of them to uh, honestly give us a great delivery experience. They asked us, do you wanna, you know, do you know how to use everything? They're, I'm like, yeah, I know how to use everything. We're good. Um, so anyway, I wanna do a quick body panel alignment, log everything on camera on day one, and then uh, we'll drive it for the first time right after that. So let's pull it out of here. Well, guys, I'm going to be able to drive the Cybertruck for the first time. I'm going to jump in it. We're going to pull it out here. I'm really excited for this. I have driven a Cybertruck before, but not my Cybertruck, or at least the out-of-spec Cybertruck. So let's run up to it. I should have phone as a key working. Door opens. First time opening the door on my Cybertruck. Jumping in for the first time. Wow! It smells like a new vehicle in here. <laughs> this is amazing. I've really got to get everything set, but let's just pull it out. Driving my Cybertruck for the first time. Oh boy, steer by wire, so cool. So let's pull it out of here. I'll stage it over here in the sun and we can take a look. This is so exciting. <laughs> wow, it feels really, really high quality. Just the initial bit of getting in here we'll put it in park right there and the first few inches of driving the cyber truck have been completed um wow it honestly feels slightly different than the uh, dual motor that i drove not in terms of drive chain or anything but i think brandon was telling me this alcantara dash is on this that almost changes that entire experience because you have a huge it, it's technically i guess it's microfiber suede alcantara is a company i know but it's pretty cool that we have that, that's neat. Oh boy, here it is. So Alyssa, your first time really soaking in the Cybertruck and seeing it out here. Um, I'm sure they did the best job they could in the time that we left them to clean it, but it's very streaky and you know, Colton would be losing his mind over this. I think it's more than acceptable because I'm expecting Tesla level of you know, build quality and cleanliness. And I know the metal is gonna be a pain to take care of. And that's part of what we wanna do is to review it. But what's your impression overall of the look of this particular one, any thoughts? Oh, I mean, it looks like all the others. 
nice looking triangle carrot cutter whatever you might want to say <laughs> the, the carrot cutter wouldn't be a bad name <laughs> that was yeah. the stupidest thing we've ever done yeah i was very uh i was interested by yeah. that testing but uh i mean yeah it 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 does it, it is it's a feat of engineering yeah. and it looks very interesting so let's show everyone around then yeah. uh first thing i'm noticing i want to look at like gaps i'm noticing that the front trunk does not fit properly so i want to at least make a note to the delivery folks and say hey this just needs some adjustment or this panel needs adjustment you can see we have some weather stripping sticking out here you you would think they'd go through those things but okay whatever we didn't give them that much time we've got the giant wiper um yeah, VIN number 146, how about that? Alyssa, come on over to this side. I wanna show you uh, inside the driver's seat. So again, to open the doors, we, we have a bunch of Cybertruck reviews, so we won't be covering it, but you just push this button, plunger pops out, pushes the door open. Is this your first time sitting in a Cybertruck, Alyssa? No, I sat in Will's. Oh, okay, that's right, Ooh. yeah. What? There's stuff. Oh, you gotta peel that off in this video. It's mine, it's mine. <laughs> Oh, and this is in. Too. Yeah, save that. We'll we'll do a full peeling everything off ASMR. Some good stuff. Yeah. This will be where the doggos will go. It's a pretty good amount of size. It's not massively big at well, all. Well, we just got out of the Silverado. Compared to the Rivian, this is it's pretty compared big. Compared to that big boy over there. Now, if you pop out, Alyssa, but, I just oh want to. Oh my goodness! It's so much room to the edge of it. Like putting on your um, what is that thing to go through tolls? To get, you have yeah, to get like all an easy the way pass. down there. I don't know how we're going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just make sure the doors are 90 degrees. Nice, because the one that we tested in Texas, remember that, Brandon? Yeah, ben Struck did not have 90 degree doors. Now, he had a, on one of them, so let's test the other one. While we do that, we'll raise up the tonneau, listening for any weird noises or binding. Sounding good, really much higher quality than Rivian tonneau. And we have dual 90 degree doors. A bunch of plastic for you to remove, Alyssa. Oh, wow, boy. that's going to be fun. We should do that when we get back to uh, back to your grandparents, because I want to get uh, Alyssa's grandfather is 90, drives a Tesla Model Y. I really want to get his impression of this. Perhaps we can put that into this video as well. Let's just take a look on the front trunk. How does this open again, Brandon? There's a little button. There's a button? Yeah, that's right. I thought the button was right oh, in the no, center. Right oh yeah, it's a little bit, yeah, a little bit higher. A little bit weird to find. Yeah, nothing in the front trunk, but that's looking good. This is where the HEPA filter is, everything. Yeah, I mean it's not not massive, but it'll get the job done at least. Just don't put your fingers right there. Whoa! <laughs> it still freaks me out. Um, yeah, I mean everything's looking good. Let's check the underfloor storage. We'll check everything else. So we'll drop the uh, tailgate make sure that this works pretty well let's just see yeah nicely dampened it's a, it's almost a assist it's got a soft close but it's not power we do have underfloor storage oh that that was build quality right there did you hear that Ooh, it smells hold on let's try that again it's this <laughs> it's that plastic like hitting no it's this right here it's hitting it okay so we got to log that oh yeah see it's binding right mm -hmm. there maybe because this is too far forward i mean it seems to fit perfectly here this is just things you get when you buy a brand new Tesla, isn't it? Uh, also, this panel. You know, it's probably this piece that's too far forward. Yeah, that piece may need to be shoved forward a little bit. So anyway, we have our mobile connector in here, which comes in a box rather than a carrying case. So we'll check that out later on. We have our power outlets. This is what I'm most excited for. Finally have a NEMA 1450 on wheels nice. that I can pull power out of so we can charge other cars. And you know, the Rivian's only got 120 volt. You get the latches out. Yeah, you just come right on in here. Oh, we might need to use a tool to pry it out. Okay. They're pretty tight in there. It'll make range tests easier. Yeah, that'll make range tests nice. We can run cars to dead and then charge them up with this thing if we need to. Uh, it says foundation series right here. And then it also has the, that's, I actually don't like this at all. That's beautiful, that's pretty. You like Cute. that? No, sarcasm. Oh, yeah, to me, I just don't like that. What do you think, Brandon, do you like it? That looks pretty cool. Brandon likes it. We've got a Florida tag on here, so we need to squat it. So we can get the, you know, the, the Carolina squat. Squat it or raise it. Yeah, I feel like the Florida thing to do would be to put like a one foot lift with like 32 inch wheels and then exactly. little rubber band tires. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Here comes the tonneau. Watch your fingers. Coming in hot. <laughs> 
Wow. You're testing your fingers already. Part, part, part Look, I'm two. not, I, there's no workers' compensation here. You don't work for out of spec. He's got his own outlet. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't really fully line up. I mean, it's close enough, I guess. But um, yeah, wow, we really should set up the software, get everything dialed in. Door shuts feel good. And this is it the new out of spec Cybertruck. So many videos to come, Alyssa. It's a very expensive refrigerator. <laughs> I was thinking we should get the license plate Maytag. Yeah. Or something like that. Feed into it. Yeah, we get some magnets. <laughs> yes. We got to get a Bucky's magnet. My dad loves Bucky's. Uh, so yeah, very cool. Well, I'm, I'm thrilled. I'm glad that it came out here. I'm going to take a moment and just really analyze everything on the truck, make notes with the delivery specialist and say, hey, here are the things that I would like to see fixed on the truck. I think this needs to get dialed in. Uh, this A pillar frame, like we're, I don't really care. It's a truck. It doesn't need to be perfect. That's probably fine for me. But um, this, this is really probably the main issue that I see with it. And of course, the latch in the back. Other than that, that's our new out of spec Tesla Cybertruck. Is it technically Tesla Cybertruck Cyber Beast? I don't know. It, it, or is it, it Tesla it, it, Cybertruck Cyber Beast? Truck, Cyber Beast. Why not just, maybe just Cyber Beast? It's Cyber something. It's Cyber, Cyber Delivery. Yeah, we have Cyber Alyssa behind the camera. Oh, yeah. Cyber Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> All the above. Everything will be Cyber. Well, it looks nice, good, by the and way, toasty. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't hear you for a second. Uh, I was just going to say, by the way, See these wheels? They don't come with the covers. I think I mentioned earlier in the video. Yeah. I have a set of covers from Ben. Yeah. So we're gonna throw those on when we get to your grandparents. Well, cool beans. All right, let's go talk to the delivery folks. There then we'll jump is. in, set it up, and we'll hit the road. Well, guys, you join me in the out of spec Cybertruck for the first time inside. And first of all, uh, we have so much to unwrap here. There is gonna be a portion to the end of this video that will be Alyssa's favorite thing to do, just peeling all the plastic off. Um, I have to say nothing but great things to the Jacksonville delivery folks. They were so nice. They made our delivery great. Uh, you know, obviously they were viewers and uh, you know, they, they didn't want to be on camera. They can't be on camera, uh, but all of them say, hey. So that was really cool. And uh, just, just really loved uh, hanging out with those guys. So what I want to do now is kind of get everything set up. So I've got it in my profile. I've shared the car to Brandon and my dad. So we're all, the three of us are in there. Um, let's come over here. We have the truck in high ride height at the moment, but a lot to set up. It's gonna be very glary with this plastic screen protector on at the moment. So but... should we just, no. Wow, we got beast mode. I haven't seen that before. So we can put, this is probably how I wanna drive it. Acceleration in beast, ride in relaxed and ride height a little bit higher. That sounds good to me. I don't wanna do auto lowering. I'll probably play around with this. We're charged to 79% state of charge. Again, the whole time the truck came from Texas, it was charged to about 56 or 57% when it left the factory and it made it here at about 37%. So again, it was driven. I'm sure climate control kicked on, things like that. We still have no autopilot and no FSD, nothing like this. It'll be available in an upcoming software release. So we're gonna have to drive this thing across the country with no autopilot, which just seems crazy to me. Uh, yeah, it's a punishment. It's insane. So hopefully they get that sorted. Um, we will do uh, early collision warning. We don't want to crash this thing. Lane departure has no like assist. And I think it must be something to do with the steer by wire. They don't want to push the truck in or anything like that. We've got our phone set up. I'm going to set my phone to my profile. So there we go. It logs. Oh yeah. It already actually did that automatically. Very cool. Let's see, anything else here? We can set our ambient so we can do bed brightness on auto. We'll set accent lights. Alyssa, choose the color you think we should keep in the Cybertruck. Purple. Okay. We'll play around with that, I'm sure. Dome lights, auto, Cybertruck logo, rear view camera on all the time. And I think I'm gonna put that somewhere. That's because you won't be able to see out of the rear view mirror when the tonneau is closed. We'll keep everything in percentage, but right now it's 238 miles at 79%. That's a rated range. The range on this truck, my two main issues with Cybertruck are range and charging. It's uh, really crazy to me how there's not more. By the way, I did pre-order the range extender. That does not exist at the moment. It might not ever exist. If it does exist, it might be a pain in the ass to install. So I'm not sure if I'll go through it, but at least I reserved that with our reservation on the truck. 
we're gonna make trip B lifetime as we do with every Tesla. I've already set this Tesla up to Tesla Phi while we just accepted delivery. So everything will be logged on this truck from day one. So it's already gathering all the data, battery degradation data, all of our drives, wherever we go, it's logged from the moment we leave the service center. It's already fully set up and we're good to go. I've already checked, so that is great. Um, I'll leave sentry mode off just because we I actually don't really use sentry mode that much. Plus, I got to put a USB stick in here. It might actually come with one. I think it must. Tire pressures are set to factory where they need to be, which is great. Everything is good here. 146. Let's just see if we have any um, here. If I hold here, any issues in service mode? So we'll come in here and see if there's any hidden alerts that we should be aware of. I think at least last time I was in Cybertrucks, there was always a couple. It says E-Fuse issue on this one, VC left, but doesn't seem to be affecting anything, but something at least that we can log. So that could just be a software fix at some point in the future. Everything else in here, if we come to driver assistance, looking nice. So fisheye calibration progress, cabin calibration progress. It's got to calibrate everything. Uh, we have a front camera, of course. High voltage system looks nice. Everything's looking good. The battery was just charged, so it's pretty toasty. There we go. Nice. So great. Everything else, yeah, normal stuff. We've been through this before. And that's the Cybertruck. Should we... Um, Take it for our first drive, Alyssa? Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Big stretch. Yeah, we don't wanna don't wanna lose this. It says thank you for choosing a Tesla. We'll receive a survey link in 72 hours. Of course we're gonna give them all tens. Out of spec, welcome to the Tesla family. So cool. You want this window we a, sticker out as well? Yeah, but let's not bend that. Let's show everyone the window sticker, actually. How much would this thing even cost? One twenty-one, hundred twenty-one thousand nine hundred and eighty-five Dolores. Wow, nine eighty-five. Look at that. Uh, date of manufacture, February twenty-four. Cyber Beast is a hundred gram plus foundation series is twenty thousand. Again, I really have no idea what we even got for it. Um, FSD, I guess, but it doesn't even have base autopilot. So, did we even get that? I don't know. I think it's included. To me, it feels a bit like a ripoff, if I'm honest. Yeah. <laughs> but um, either way, hopefully the truck will improve with software. It really needs to improve with software. Has a 15 speaker sound system, best sound system maybe ever. It's right up there with IX M60 that I've tested. Brandon, would you mind putting that back there and making sure it doesn't fold? Thank you. Um, it's got its own seat. Yeah, great. And we have a wireless charger in here. They even gave us. A couple key cards. Do not place phone on key cards. Oh, I've never huh. seen that. I don't know why. Okay, I guess it'll wipe the charging if it's don't in there. Don't rip it, don't rip it. Really? Mm. How do you want me to open this without ripping it? Like that. Okay. Hmm. This is this is difficult, Alyssa. This is your job. Alyssa is the Maxter unboxer. Maxter. Maxter. Maxter unboxer. <laughs> Here we go. The key cards are in here, I guess. Nice. Yeah. Hand that back that way. We have so much plastic you can remove. <laughs> I will. All right. Well, uh, enough of that. Let's go drive the Cyber Beast for the first time. I got to get my seating position all set. We'll get everything dialed in and then we will hit the road. Well, guys, it's time to head out. So we are already in drive and let's go for a quick ride. I also want to get Alyssa's very first impressions driving this and Brandon should drive it as well, at least later today to really get a sense of what the beast can do. I'm just going to go and really make sure there's no rattles or creaks or anything. The delivery center said, you know, we basically have a hundred miles to find some issues and then they'll take care of everything. Of course, it's under warranty as well, but little alignment stuff and things like that. They said, just let us know as soon as possible. Loving the steer by wire just coming around through here. Super cool. And um, yeah, right now we have the ride height in normal, nice and soft, squishy mode, which is probably how I'll drive this thing most of the time. And again, a lot of the team's gonna be driving this truck for different videos and stuff. It's, um, I'm sure I'll probably drive it the most out of everyone, but everyone's gonna kind of have a go in this thing, so. This is really a cool experience. We'll go out of here 
to the right. Nice clicky buttons on the steering wheel. Again, uh, if you're curious more on Cybertruck review stuff, I've already reviewed the truck and we are out for our first ride. It sounds different than the dual motor. Loud motors actually, it's cool, I like it. Not quite Rivian quad motor loud, but pretty loud. There's a cop right there, so we don't want to get pulled over in our first <laughs> half a mile of driving. I was about to floor it too. <laughs> that would have been really funny actually. So um, yeah, I would say it feels good. We're gonna do a bake brake bed in process, just let them you know merge into the pads nicely. We'll get up to about 80 miles an hour, bring it to 10 or 60 miles an hour, bring it to 10, get everything broken in sound system broken in and that'll be kind of the motto for today but wow it feels feels good feels almost like the steering wheel is a little bit left al left aligned does it look that way to you brandon like tilted down to the left yeah 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 definitely i don't know if that's normal i don't remember that from the other truck but this is not connected to the wheels at all this is just a video game sensor basically in for the steering which is really wild how little you turn it and how responsive it is it's definitely something pretty neat now I do think we should try the power a little bit so in order to do that we should lower the ride height put the suspension into firm and this is a truck we bought to have fun and look at that look oh they all <laughs> <laughs> they're all freaking out over the cyber truck that's what you get when you drive this thing it's still most people still have never seen one of these on the road so it's definitely a, a unique experience for everyone we're in a cyber truck it feels like like a model x yeah, yeah when, i know <laughs> when you're in this thing it just drives so normally you don't think about it until you see like people freaking out around you which is really funny we're confused at first when they were freaking out yeah so let's just pop up on whatever this road is here for one exit and we'll come back and we still got to pick up the silverado but let's give it the beans what do you say we haven't none of us have tested the cyber beast yet so y'all holding on yep. for the beans all right Holy oh my crap! God. Oh, wow. Whoa! <laughs> it's fast! I did not expect it to be that fast. This thing boogies. She gets oh, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's a good amount of power. I mean it's not plaid fast, but it's not far off. That's freaking impressive for a vehicle of this size. You don't need any more than that like that a lot <laughs> i'm glad glad we got the beast you know i was saying you know like there's no reason to get the beast when i had the dual motor i'm like that's all the truck you need that's fine but like but the beast the beast i'm glad we got it and that's not even using launch mode or anything like that but this is how you use your rear view camera i can put it here or place it over there which is kind of nice you can also take that one off if you want yeah we can remove this but i think it's nice like if the dogs are back there i can like oh, yeah, watch yeah, them you can re -tilt it. yeah so Anyway, green light chime works pretty well. Autopilot, not that we even have autopilot, is calibrated. Just the animations? Yeah, it just, yeah, it could just be the animations, I guess. Yeah, it's not uh, showing anything right No, now. it is. No, like the cars around oh, here. Oh, the cars, you're right, you're right, you're right. Well, let's, uh, let's go back. That was our first little loop. Alyssa, I think you should have a go. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow, this is, this is quick. This is proper. No joke. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, wow. I love it. And, you know, most of the time I'm probably just going to drive this thing like a grandpa, but it is cool to experience that power and acceleration. So, yeah, let's get Alyssa's first drive in this one. And uh, that is that is pretty freaking impressive. You have to be really focused with the steering to stay so uh, stable with everything. That was cool. Well, you join me in the passenger seat. Alyssa is ready to take control. You've never driven the Cybertruck. No, I have not. And uh, so do you understand me. roughly how the steering is a bit different? I mean, no, not until I feel it. Okay. Yeah, so I'm all good to... Yeah, just get used to it in the parking lot first because the steering's wild. And if I will just go take the little loop. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a lot that I can't It's trying to feel weird. It doesn't feel weird, it's just getting the visual approach of what is going on here. You know, this is smaller than the uh, Lightning. I haven't driven the Lightning. But you, okay, I'm just yeah. letting you know. A lot of people think it's a pretty big truck, but it's no, smaller than a normal I don't one. think it's big at all. It's just there's different, a uh, lot, lots of windows and uh, blind, new, just new 
areas to get used to what I'm looking at, what I'm able to see. All right, Flora, you're used to it. No, but there's there's a cop here. Wow, oh, he's gone. He was driving. No. Flora. No. Flora. No, no, Flora. No, no, Just Flora. Oh, Flora on the on ramp. <laughs> How does it feel back there, dude? It's really nice back here. Can't. Take a good trip. Yeah, we're driving we're this thing back. across the country. <laughs> Very spacious. Even when Alyssa's seat was all the way back, I still had leg room. Wow, that's awesome. What do you think of the steering, Alyssa? Guys, filming up. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I can get a real booty shake back there. <laughs> yeah, I can really feel back here. Yeah. yeah I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's different. This is this is neat. This is really cool. And I'm surprised you're positive on it. Well, the no steering wheel shit, but I mean crap. You don't like the steering wheel? <laughs> no. Oh, I like it, Squirkle. Does it feel like a little too thin? It feels just way too small. That's what I think. That's cool. It gives it a sporty vibe. Wow, I would feel like you'd be the total opposite. You got to hit the mono wiper, Alyssa. Yeah. Uh, the mono wiper. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Isn't that a cool experience? She's spicy. <laughs> that is, that's, that's a big, big thing. Okay. Good. Yep. All good. Yeah, there's like so little input that you need to, to do to get things rolling and moving. The buttons are a lot thicker than uh, the Model S. There's actual, a lot more input. Yeah, it's like a clicky button. Yeah. yeah. Gosh, that's nice. All right, get her straight and give her the beans. Floor it. It's been nervous. <laughs> wow. Okay. The, the the pedal is very sensitive. This is not going to be a good max car. Well, yeah, right. <laughs> but I can I can put it into uh, like a normal or even chill now. Floor it. Like that. You like chill mode? <laughs> yeah. It's like model life performance right there. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, just because I'm always driving the dogs around usually, and so it's a bit harsh to on the pedal movements with them. So I like to be in chill mode when it comes to them. Is this where I'm trying to? I just stay in this lane, right? Oh, uh, I think you'll be okay. Yeah, no one's around, so you're technically I don't think supposed to ride here. Yeah, I don't think so either. But here we are. Yeah, Cybertruck lifestyle. See, they're they're just taking photos of us. <laughs> Okay, that's your plan? Just wave at everyone? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing you do on the East Coast. I missed it so much, just waving at everybody, because everybody waves at you. Are All you right. saying people don't wave in Colorado? No. These no. small towns. No. Nobody <laughs> waves back at you when you wave at people. I'm always You're a waver. Right. Hey! And everybody's like, oh. <laughs> Right. Okay. Yeah, those buttons are buttony. Buttony buttons. And then I wanna, I would like to do a 360, but I don't think I have a... Not enough room. Yeah, let's take a picture of Cybertruck. Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, cool. All right, I'm gonna see the turning radius yeah. here. Well, don't hit the curb. And what? by the way, we only have three degrees of rear steer at the moment. I think they have to update our steering actuator to get 10 degrees. Maybe it's that guy's Cybertruck. Probably. Yeah. That's cool. I thought they had a physical part change for that. And it should have been the newer one. Don't hit the curb here. Oh, I'm not. You're not? Oh, okay. okay. No, I don't know if it's sweet. Yeah, we should go around up front. Okay. I'll go up front. Yep. Oh, it's fun to drive. It, it kind of reminds me um, a little bit of the Hummer EV with driving it. Yeah, with the rear steering? Yeah. Yeah, it's rear steer is cool. It's got more, but it, this, this is what bothers me. Well, keep your hands uh, down low rather than up on that top flat part. What? Yeah. Like this right in here. You never have to move them because you never can go more than 180 degrees in one direction. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, something to get used to. Oh, the yoke should have been. Well, I'm surprised you're so positive on this thing. You've been <laughs> you've been putting it down for since we ordered it, and I've been, uh, I've been putting down the thought and the idea of I just I know how much this is gonna depreciate. So uh, yes, yeah, <laughs> that's the side of things, and I think there's a lot more 
fun cars that we, I mean, not that this isn't a fun car, but there's definitely this one Porsche that I know some guy really wants to get that. Porsche. Right. I said my next car, if I ever got a next car, would be a GT3. Yeah. And here we are buying a Cybertruck. Well, this would be a lot more views than a GT3 would be. So right at the edge here. Yeah. Of the windshield. It's a little wavy. Yeah, it's wavy. I don't know if it's my sunglasses because they're no. taller. I don't but... think the camera picks it up either. Oh, like the very box? Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, like right in That's here. That's how the Model S and XR are. When it has oh, really? glass on it, huh. you kind of see a little bit of reflection, refraction. So your thoughts driving the Cybertruck the first time? I think it's a lot of fun. It's a fun car. It it makes people happy, which that's always good. And, um, you know, we shouldn't lose too much. I don't know. We're going to lose a lot of money on it, money. but we'll make a lot of content. So, yeah, yeah, yeah we're just doing of, it. Do it for the vine. A lot of good content to, to come. I'm ready to off-road this thing. Just to go off-road. <laughs> yeah, that's you're... what I want to do. And peel all these stickers. That's, that's it. You right. guys can go have fun driving it thousands of miles across country yeah but you'll do the off-road videos yeah. i'll meet you in the lab <laughs> <laughs> um yeah totally well thanks for driving Alyssa, and uh you're welcome glad glad you enjoyed it <laughs> okay let's uh yeah let's go get lunch or something yeah and then so we got the cyber truck at chipotle and it, everyone always for yeah, everyone know. freaks out. Yeah, <laughs> we've just met some cool dudes here at Chipotle. What do you all think about this thing? This thing is actually nuts. Beautiful. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not a big Tesla fan, but for the first time seeing this, it actually looks really cool. Cool. I'm, lie. I'm glad you guys it like does. it. It's. I still haven't made up my opinion, but yeah, it's fast as hell. So yeah. When I saw it, I had to pull it like right next yeah. to you, dude. I'm sorry, <laughs> I had to take a picture with my car right next to me. Well, Sorry. yeah, nice to meet you guys. Yeah, take as many photos as you want. You can sit inside of it and do whatever you need. But uh, yeah, nice to meet you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's just this little button right here. Yep. All right. Well, we just finished up a great Chipotle meal. And uh, Alyssa, I think, is actually going to want to take it down to her grandparents. It's about a 150 mile drive, maybe a little bit more. So you and Brandon can vlog your road trip down in this. I'll follow behind in the Silverado, but Alyssa's excited about it. I'm glad. So yeah, you should really drive it. And uh, actually I'll try out the back seat, Brandon. Yeah, let me give that a go. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Fingerprints already. But wow. Yeah, I fit in the back, <laughs> back pretty well. I'm pretty tall and I fit. You're pretty no tall, issues. you're six Six foot one. Six foot one. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, don't, don't care. All right. First peel has got to happen now. You're going to hit the first this peel? Is, this is just already oh, bothering me. Okay, Put okay. it in park, Alyssa. Oh, sorry. You got to guess the middle. It's the middle? Yeah. So, oh, yeah. yeah go drive real quick. Move into the middle. Yeah. Did yeah, they do that on S and X too? No. no. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Wow, can you mute the audio? Thank you. All right, now do it without the audio. What? <laughs> <laughs> I need to put it back. Yeah. <laughs> we can line it up. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Part nice. Two. Okay, good stuff. Jeff. They were literally just blocking the road to get a photo of the Cyro truck, and Alyssa was like, "Move! No, you well, gotta I, let people enjoy I was it." Letting them out is what I was doing. <laughs> I didn't know. I wasn't watching what her phone was doing. Yeah, they were trying to get a video. So Tesla service message us, Brandon. Yeah, they want a picture. Oh, did you, did you take pictures already? Yeah, I mean, we got it on video. Oh, yeah, we'll yeah. send it when yeah, we have time. Pictures, whatever. Cool. Yeah, we just want to get the front and rear aligned a little bit, and then we'll be. Re good on this thing other than that this truck feels pretty solid yeah. feels nicely put together i don't like the headrest at all what do you mean it's hard huh mine's not hard i like the ev9 one that one's the nice. cushy one <laughs> while we were taking delivery of the cyber truck we've had a silverado disaster a water bottle explodes <laughs> it's literally a pool day. yeah oh god well i guess we don't have any, I don't have enough paper towels for that. Yeah, we'll just, I'll just drive with a pool in here. Just let this dry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, have fun driving the Cybertruck.
Before we leave Tesla, I just want to say a huge thank you to the entire Jacksonville team. They really were amazing, made the whole delivery experience really fun, really special. The Cybertruck itself is so neat. It's crazy quick. Again, great sound system, really fun. We've already met a bunch of people just from parking it in a parking lot and mixed reactions from love it to hate it. And everyone's pretty chill about it. It's pretty awesome. Uh, again, I'm super grateful to you guys for watching our content because without your viewership, we wouldn't be able to buy crazy, interesting cars like this and review them over long-term ownership updates. Don't expect any other big purchases in the near future. Uh, this was a pretty heavy one for us, but we're very thrilled that we're able to do it and bring the coverage to you guys. Ultimately, this is um, we have to choose a few vehicles a year to purchase and no question this had to be on the list and we had the unique opportunity to take delivery of one of the very first cyber beasts and i am certainly you know pinch myself moment that we're in that position it's uh it's pretty incredible and actually we're filming this right as the r2 event is happening so anyway there we go the new cyber truck where are we going we're going to the great outdoors of course uh, where else would should a cyber truck be other than the great outdoors kyle's somewhere behind us that truck is just massive. That truck hits all the points that this truck severely misses. And that is range and um, charging speeds. But well, there's no Cyber Vault. No who? No Cyber Vault in the What's other one. Cyber what? what the Cyber Vault, you know, the, the trunk area or the bed. Oh, the, the oh, vault. Oh, yeah, oh. it's called a vault. Oh, it's called a vault. I didn't know. Yeah, because you can stand on it. Yeah, 300 pounds. You should stand on it. Yeah. You can stand, you can jump, you can do all these ridiculous things with the truck, but it doesn't have autopilot. Nope. Twelve thousand dollars for an active cruise control. Well it's just we it, it's all gonna obviously come, I understand that. But it's just a matter of um to pay twenty thousand dollars extra for all of these different things that have yet to come or and you're taking delivery of it and it's not there and that's just that to me is always I've never understood that with Tesla stuff and uh, I know it's the Tesla way but it's just like if you're making customers pay for it you should at least have it available for your yeah. customers and we're this far into Tesla I feel like they could have had it ready in time yeah and, and especially autopilot come on now <laughs> it's just ridiculous and then all the rest of the stuff, I mean, it really isn't, it's just kind of ancillary things, like the light bar, or whatever, it, all that. But it's just like, I don't even think Kyle will even put on the light bar. We'll just have it as a, an option. We'll put it on once or twice and then take it off. I'm curious to see how uh, aerodynamic and efficient it is. I think the light bar, honestly, might be necessary because the headlights are not that great at night. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I hope Alyssa and Brandon are enjoying the Cybertruck. Certainly looks interesting following it from behind. And um, yeah, we're just here in the uh, Silverado. So 130 miles of range estimated, 135 to get there. I can just drive a little bit more gently and we'll arrive dead, which I want to do a charging test on this anyway. So that works pretty well. There you go, merging onto the highway. <laughs> cool. Let's go, Maverick. Come on. We got a green light, dude. <laughs> it just looks so wild going down the road, doesn't it? It's an interesting shape. Looks like it's slammed out in lower suspension right now, which probably is the more efficient way of driving. I mean, definitely is. Got to get those wheel covers on though. It looks weird without them. Let's get her view. Yeah, big waves, nice. Cool, well, uh, another hour and a half of cruising and we'll be there. Passing Kyle, because he's going way too slow. <laughs> Look at that Silverado. It looks like, if anybody knows the reference, but from uh, Lilo and Stitch, Gantu, it looks like the shark. From yeah. Stitch. Yeah. <laughs> you won't unsee it. <laughs> uh, literally, that's all I think about when I see that truck is it just looks like can too. But uh, so far, it drives great on the highway. It, it covers bumps pretty well, and I haven't had any issues. We've had plenty of tired heads, of course, and a lot of attention to it. I'm not really focusing on that, but Brandon's definitely keeping count of everybody who's um, impressed by it. And, 
the only thing is I'm trying to figure out my feelings with the the wheel here, but I think it'll it'll grow on me and in point I, by the end of this drive I won't even notice the difference. So yeah, the one thing I do really appreciate is how big nice the buttons are. I just it's a nice click, I feel it, I hear it, all the senses are happening and uh, yeah. So we're continuing on the road here and uh, Kyle's somewhere now. It's behind us, it was calling me. Gonna say something, so we better call him back. We gotta call Boss Man back. So, yeah. Man, I think the back of that thing is pretty ugly, but the front of it looks cool. Like, coming up behind, that's a cool look. But following it from back here, mm, not sold on that, to be honest. Fuckies! Here we go. This is where we ended our F-150 race earlier this week, where we raced the uh, Superchargers versus CCS in two identical Lightnings. That video should go up the same day this video goes live on Out of Spec Motoring. It's going to be a huge month at Out of Spec, so going crazy with all the electric truck content here. All right, so we're just about to turn. Right over there is Bucky's, which will be Brandon's first time at the Bucky's. Kyle has to charge because I guess the Silverado doesn't have that much range. Um, no, it actually has a ton of range, but um, it had a, he had about like a 10 mile difference that he wouldn't be able to make it. So we're just gonna do a quick top up. He doesn't want me to charge the truck. He wants to be the first one to plug it in. So I'll let him be the first one to plug it in. So uh, we'll go over to the charge point chargers with him, hang out, go inside Bucky's, experience all that, and um, then hit, hit the road again. And we've arrived to the Mercedes chargers. So let's get this thing. Well, Brandon and Alyssa went inside for their first Bucky's experiment. I took it over here for our first ever charge. In we go on the Tesla Cybertruck. So. Yeah, so you're more than welcome to check it out. That's the first one I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, here you go. Yep, yeah. this is the first charging session I'm doing with it. Brandon, yeah, Brandon just Brandon. got it. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Oh, so, yeah, it's it gets a lot of attention at Bucky's, which is fun. But damn, this is sick. Juicing up. Not as fast as the Silverado EV. I was just doing 310 kilowatts on that one, and then this is going to be a lot slower charger than that. But uh, oh well, still pretty cool. <laughs> it's amazing how much attention this one gets. Let's take a look at the charging performance here at 46%, only 102 kilowatts. Ah, the one thing I wish Cybertruck would do is have more range and faster charging. And well, it wasn't preconditioned for this session, but we're not far off what we normally would get around this state of charge. And it's okay, not that big of a deal for today. We're just chilling putting a little bit extra juice in it because we're going to be driving this around all evening. So we'll charge it up to 60 or 70% and then hit the road. I got to get the wheel covers on it because it looks pretty bad without the wheel covers. Okay, well, the crowd of people just left. It was crazy. You can't, if you ever need to be in a hurry, do not charge a Cybertruck at Bucky's. Holy smokes. Uh, and I actually did notice the charge curve maybe seemed a bit flatter than last time we tested. Just kind of sat at about 100 kilowatts up to, I don't know, some time, somewhere high 50% range. It didn't seem too terrible, actually. So maybe that's getting better. Um, we're putting Brandon in the Silverado, so. Let's go. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm driving an electric pickup. I, it was fun watching this thing, but I really want to drive it. So, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. But uh, hell yeah. yeah, nothing, nothing great. So anyway, let's uh, let's go drop off Brandon at the Silverado, and I just put a few kilowatt hours in it because I want to do a charge test probably tonight or tomorrow morning with the Silverado. Oh, that's yeah. That's, I don't know if you have enough time. I know I need to charge test that thing before the big road trip. I need to know how it charges. Yeah. So look okay. at that. Look at Gantu. Yeah, Alyssa calls the Silverado Gantu. <laughs> all right well i'm gonna drop you right here and uh whoa the steering is so fast in this it's crazy well have fun how do i use the volume uh there's a giant knob on the screen oh 
<laughs> Look at these Tesla people don't even know what to do with a knob. Knobs and buttons in here. I'm not used to it. <laughs> There's our dude who was yeah, hanging out with good. us from the three. Awesome. All right, so you get to roll. Yeah. Where, how do I go? Oh. Okay. He's got. You got to pull okay. it towards you. Okay. Well, that thing's about three times as big as your Model Y. So good right. luck. <laughs> Well, I have commandeered the Cybertruck. I'm very excited to try this out. And yeah, now we'll be taking the on-ramp onto I-95 South. We're only yeah less than one hour away from where we need to go. My plan was to rip the on-ramp, but we are behind the world's slowest convoy. I did want to test some of the handling characteristics. Oh, everything's flying. My nuts. <laughs> Melissa got some, what are the peanuts? Almonds. Almonds, nice. Um, so yeah, we're just going to cruise and uh, put the music up, enjoy the sound system. Still no autopilot in this thing. How was that for you, Alyssa? That was pretty, pretty bad. Yeah, it doesn't even like, even the Silverado, if I don't pay attention, pushes me in. And that's a primitive work truck. Yeah. And this can't even do light centering. Yeah, we were talking uh, about I don't want to sound ungrateful for the Cybertruck because I feel like I've been a bit negative today. But I'm so excited for this, and um, oh, it's a lot. I was saying it was a, it's a lot of fun to drive, but um, it would be nice. It'll come soon. So I'm gonna go relaxed, and then the higher position okay. on riding. I think the truck looks good with the suspension up a little bit, um, but I do notice a bit of vibration. Not nearly as bad as Ben's truck was when I tested it out in Texas. His really had a grumble, but it is. There is some feedback coming in, and I guess a lot of it's through the steer-by-wire. I also don't understand why our wheel is just off by a little bit. I don't think I remember that from... I might ask them and see if they can fix that at Tesla service. Yeah. Just, like, program it to be, like, two degrees more centered. But it has adaptive cruise, right? Yeah, yeah. it has that. Nice. But okay. anytime you, you... If you just... Oh, and you can go up to 90, just like yeah. a normal Tesla. If you just push it down, like, one... It, yeah. it jerks you. Uh, push it down. Oh, speed-wise, it's very yeah. aggressive. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, either way. But this the is purple's great. coming through, my chosen color. Yeah, Alyssa Looking chose the purple. good. Looking nice. we good. We really got to clean the glass. It's very hazy. And yeah. And that will happen with any new car. You'll get a lot of off-gassing that will happen. So. Yeah, I was noticing that. I already don't have great eyesight without my glasses. And then it was that. I was like, oh, gosh. Yeah. That's any new car, really, especially yeah. in the heat. So we'll let all that, and then Colton will detail the crap out of this thing when we get it back. Colton will put it under the knife. That's right. So, man, it's cool. Got the blind spot light going here. Yep, just that little light. Yeah, not that useful, <laughs> no. I guess, but it's better than nothing. Very and, tiny. Uh-oh, flat tire in that Model Y. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, yep, let's uh, head on down to the great outdoors. He can't even fit that thing in the wide view. It's so big. <laughs> did you order this? You did. How long ago? All right. What do you think, Grandpa? That's it, huh? That's it. Wow. Fantastic. Picture. Just showed up at your place here? Nothing's the latest. It's, it's the latest. latest. <laughs> it's very late. They're saying that they're they're having some some trouble with the with the the metal cooling and heating and and the lines are yeah, getting out of whack. It warps a little bit. This one doesn't seem too bad. That is one funky looking car. <laughs> Whatever it is, right? Look like it's from Mars. You should have seen. We followed him all the way <laughs> in. And Every single golf cart, you turn around. There. <laughs> One lady goes, what? What's that? <laughs> Somebody give you a new pickup? Just, yeah. Isn't that something? This is kind of counter. Hey, nice to, I, nice to um, Give it a good press. How do you open that Just up? a good push. Like this? Yep. Oh. And then you just open it. Yeah. Oh, 
like the screen. Yeah. Nice seat. Yeah. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. Was it, uh, was it nice riding? Yeah. It drives fine. Yeah. Well, we'll take you for a spin in it. Yeah. I'll get in after they get done talking. Oh, I just, it's never going to happen. <laughs> it's, that's why we're, we're an hour late because we're. Yeah. Oh. Because we everybody was everybody was stopping and talking to us. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that camera's busy. Always filming. Yeah. So Chuck, how's it going? Good. So you have a Tesla Model Y. We've done a yeah. video with you before. You're on your second Tesla. Yeah. You're almost ninety. I had an M3. Yep. And uh, then when the Ys came out, I decided to buy that because we needed a little more room, easier to get in and out of. Yeah. But the three was a great car. And what's your impression now seeing the Cybertruck? By the way, I just have to say before we get that, you have three electric pickup trucks in your driveway I right know, now. I know. And four electric cars total, plus your electric golf cart. Yeah. You're yeah. living in the electric age. Yeah, I am. What do you think of the Cybertruck? Oh, I like it myself. You know, not to, I think it looked like it's from Mars. Yeah. <laughs> now you had an F-150 in the past. You used to tow a trailer with it. Yeah, I did. Would you tow with an electric? A Lariat? Oh, sure. But right now I, I'm too old for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think if you could, well, we'll have to go for a ride tomorrow in this one. I want to yeah. take you out in it. Um, so we'll definitely have an upcoming video with Chuck's impression of the Cybertruck. But it there definitely, from my opinion, looks like the future. I think you could, you should get one of these things. Uh, <laughs> I got to get by my wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Chuck. I'm glad yeah. that uh, you like it. I think um, it's it's a very controversial car, of course, because it looks so polarizing. But I think a lot of people will appreciate that you, of course, are into it, which is pretty it's cool. My kind of car because it's different. I like new things. <laughs> yep, me too. Really like it. Thanks, Chuck. Good to see you. Yeah, Alyssa, it's time to unbox the Cybertruck. Yep. Yep. So where, where are you starting with? This is your, you, first off, let's explain to the viewers. You love this. I, yeah, this is, I literally, when we go to dealerships and they have a new car, we're friends with them, so they don't mind if I do it, but I just always sit there and unpeel everything for them. They said that they'd hire me, but I'm a little too busy. Um, <laughs> so the first ones are actually, they're very little in here and they might, they take a little bit of, um, are you sure there's one on yeah, there? Yeah, there is. Oh yeah. Are you sure it's just not a protective no, cover? No, because I've already, oh already taken it off. Oops, let me just open it. Oh, it's stuck. Okay. So they must have put that on before they put this piece on. Yeah. Okay, so there's more over here. You gotta come around. Okay. Yeah. Brandon's doing this as vertical too, so if you want want more, we're just beating the shit out of this truck. <laughs> I don't think knocking the plant over was part of the ASMR portion of this video. It's already been knocked over. Yeah, Jordan, we have a profile. He just drove it and we said, don't crash it. That's his profile. It says, Jordan, don't crash. And then he opened the door into the plant and knocked it over. And then Alyssa just knocked it over. So that's probably, we should move the plant, I think.
right, we've removed the seal now, and now you can get it out, right, Alyssa? Yeah. Okay, nice. Now, we might drive this thing through water, so that's gotta be tight. I can put it on. <laughs> right, yeah, we can adjust it later. So how is the first unboxing going? It's a little complicated, honestly. Not satisfying? I mean, it's always satisfying to hear the noise of it. Um, but now I know what to do to get the food. Yep, yep. Look at that thing. Just hunting gators in a cyber truck. <laughs> Florida things happening here. <laughs> Well guys, we have made it back. We're starting to get all of the trucks ready for our race across the country, which I'm really looking forward to doing with all of them. The attention that the Cybertruck gets is crazy. I mean, I remember it from when we had it in Austin, Texas, but here in Florida, it almost seems like more. I mean, really every time we stop today, we almost couldn't go anywhere. So the one thing that I always come away with when I'm around Cybertruck is online, most of the comments that I receive are probably 75% hate and negativity towards the Cybertruck. And in person, it's probably 75 to 90% extremely positive and interesting. And it always just shows me that maybe online isn't the perfect representation of everyone's actual viewpoints and beliefs. So um, yeah, Brandon's just inching this giant <laughs> Silverado up, but I don't know if he's gonna crash in here or not. Yeah. He's working with millimeters. He's good. But anyway, uh, we're so lucky that we have a cyber truck. Anyone who is in the Colorado area, seriously, come on up to our office in Fort Collins. When You're we're good. There. <laughs> this is, he's used to a normal Tesla. <laughs> uh, that was great. Nice. And um, yeah, come on up, explore it. We'll take you for a ride. Check it out again. Um, timing and availability I'm not committing to anything but if it's around we want people to experience it and see it at least while it's new and fresh so we're lucky we're able to have it and um, yeah seriously amazing thank you uh, to the Tesla team in Jacksonville thank you to the Tesla logistics team who because we use the referral thing got us our truck right away and they were fast they were amazing and uh, yeah any final thoughts from you Brandon I'm just excited to see what happens with the cyber beast yeah, me too. Alyssa? It's a good looking refrigerator. <laughs> there we go. Well, plenty of, yeah, so yeah, plenty of videos to come. We have a Cybertruck. We got to do all the things with it. And we certainly will over the next month or two of just hardcore electric truck testing. See you on another one again soon. Bye-bye.